All right, so we got everything plugged in. <clears throat> we had to remove this lower pocket for clearance. I did just stick some screws in here. I did have one of these, uh, the USB uh, extension cables. I think I'm going to bring it through this hole so that I can mount something somewhere for the phone to go on. I actually have one of those little things that goes on the vent. So I might actually, you know, then that can go here. I just, it's just something we'll have to figure out. Like I said, uh, but basically, we're just going through this part of it right now. Um, I do have the front bezel. It does show you where you need to trim on here. Get out of the sun. There you go. It shows you where you need to trim. It looks like, as I was staying, this goes down over here. That'll slide down over. I'm going to center this out. And then I will trace a line on the back side. And then I can trim this out, and it should just snap right in. I think that's going to look pretty good right there with the chrome on the bottom and the wood trim with this around the radio. It'll kind of follow up through, so it'll look all right. But uh, we're going to finish getting this radio screwed in. We're going to double check everything, and then we're going to get this trimmed, and we're going to install our, our uh, radio bezel. All right, I kind of wanted to show a rear view of this before anything was cut out. Uh, the slot goes down over there. I kind of have it centered out. So I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to trace along these edges. You can see where that raised area is. And uh, get the marks on there to what we actually need to remove. And it does have these two. It will, cl it will snap in right here perfectly. It lines up with them and then it has the two pins here to line up. So this is actually a pretty nice faceplate kit. Um, I'll probably include that in the description. That way you can check out that seller on eBay if it's something you're interested in. And uh, I'm going to get this thing measured up and cut out. Alright, so I don't know if you can tell. Yep, you can see a little bit there with the marker marks. That's where we need to cut out. Um, I just got this. So uh, I put the plastic blade on and we're going to try it out and see if it'll cut this stuff out. All right, so we have the opportunity to use this. I know uh, it's probably gonna pick up a little bit of wind. I think there's a little small breeze out here, so you'll probably hear that. Um, what I'm doing is I'm installing uh, a faceplate onto this radio here. Uh, you can see there's these darker marks here. That's where I need to cut out. We're gonna try out the drywall, fiber cement, and plastic blade on here and uh, see what happens. Give it a try. See if this is... All right, so I got my safety glasses on here. <clears throat> Going to tilt this past here just a little bit, hopefully. All right. Really like to make sure you can actually see what I'm doing here. In case anyone wants to know, it smells great. other side No going back.
All right, look at that. Quick, simple work. Um, it didn't seem to be too bad. It worked really good with the blade. It gets uh, quite a bit of plastic dust on myself, but that's kind of expected. So, um, there we go. Cut out really nice. Now we'll see if it fits. All right, well, we got everything cut out. As you can see, up along the edges. All right, didn't, it worked out quite well. Um, so right now we're going to uh, test fit our piece. Let's see if we got to clearance anymore here. Ah, we got to cut just a little bit more right there. Got you in the sun, you can see it. And it looks like it's just going to pop right in there. It's all right, we'll get that taken care of here. Quick. All right, well, we got everything clearanced out. Everything's in here. Hopefully it's the right way. Um, I did notice that when I was pushing down on this and trying to snap this in, it doesn't exactly snap in. You gotta push down and then push up. And then this kind of sits right down in there where it needs to go. So we now have our radio bezel right here, ready for install. Um, we are going to, like I said, I think I'm gonna bring that out through this pocket here. So I'm gonna drill a little hole in this on the top side so that I can slide the USB plug through it. All right, I pulled it off and cut myself a little square hole here in the top. Hopefully that works out. Now we're gonna get this reassembled and then go put this in. All right, so the install is the reversal of the removal. So we're gonna take our USB plug and we're gonna feed it down through our little hole we made. We can pull that out a couple inches and uh, kind of tuck it back in here in case we have to pull more or push more. And then we're going to get all these plugs reinstalled across here. For all of our fancy gadgets. that the way it said it to be installed and we are too high it looks like with the head unit so we've got to drift the head unit down just a little bit which I'm thinking we'll have to pull the whole head unit out and then drop it down like I said I wasn't sure exactly where that was gonna fall so I did hold this up to it and it seems like it covers the head unit quite well so we actually have to drop it down maybe a finger width so we'll see where our holes are on the head unit we can get that pulled out and adjusted down all right so we got it figured out uh let's show you here it's not quite ready for install but we have it centered out now okay it's going to fit where it needs to fit now this way you should kind of look at your instructions I do have to install these retainer plates back here. But even though we put the plates on the radio resembling the way they were factory with the pin, the alignment pin at the top, on here it actually goes to the bottom. It shows you a picture of the wider at the bottom, which has the alignment pin and the smaller one at the top. So we had to flip sides of the brackets that hold the radio in here, okay? So that's now finished. Um, what I have to do yet is install these and then our radio is completely installed. Right now everything's lined up. We're going to try to uh, snap the radio bezel back into place here. And then you can see, I mean this is dirty so I'm going to have to wipe it off. But, uh, it seems to line up all right there. 
I don't know if there's a way I could tilt the top out, but uh, let's fire it up and uh, see what happens here. It's probably a little hard to see the screen. Huh. Radio auxiliary. Um, okay, so we got our static. I'm going to go in and uh, on the screen too. I'm going to go in and uh, adjust the EQ uh, to where I see to where I see fit and play with a couple of the features on this radio and get it cleaned up but uh, that pretty much concludes that pretty much concludes our install of the radio um, so we still do have to reinstall the rest of our lower console here yet but uh, that's basically the same as uh, the uh, reversal of the install is the best way to say it. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to enjoy this thing.